So how do you come up with an overall production plan or set overall production dates when you're trying to do an independent film? Um, so back from, I'm back from the holidays. I know it's been a while since I recorded one of these. Um, and obviously the holidays get busy for, you know, a lot of reasons, especially if you've got kids. And um, I spent a lot of the time not only doing the holidays, but really focusing on the script and what did I wanted to do next with it, considering all the feedback I got from it. And um, finally got that figured out. The good news is next I'm planning on doing a table read with uh, an actress friend and possibly some other colleagues that she has, and we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll do another vlog on doing table reads. But um, yeah, and some good news, I got some new equipment. I have a camera mount for my phone. Uh, I got a new microphone so I can get good sound without using my earbuds. So hopefully this will be a more pleasurable viewing experience for anybody watching this. And anyway, um, I also was kind of eyeballing my production plan. Now, what are the dates that I am going to shoot this feature film? And as I've mentioned in the past and past entries that a big factor for me is childcare. I've got three small kids, don't have a lot of childcare options, and I have a wife who has a very not flexible work schedule. So I actually have been eyeballing the idea of doing this film winter break uh, 2023 to 2024. That's when my kids will be home from school and my wife who works in education she will be home from work on winter break as well so she can be at home with them and I should be able to do my thing. And I was kind of thinking, you know, this this is a daunting idea um, because, you know, Hollywood has a tendency to shut down for the holidays. You know, they people go on vacation. Um, normally, if someone's working on a production, it's normally built into their contract. At least I've heard that they have to have the holidays off. Um, and they have to stop production. I think normally back in the days when TV shows would shoot 24 episodes of the season, you know, starting in the summer and ending in the early spring, they would take the holidays off. But um, a wise person that I collaborate with who's working on his feature film, I was talking with him about it, and pretty much confirmed to me what I always thought, that if you're going to try to do a project, and this might sound selfish, to some people, but it's kind of the way you have to roll. If you are going to direct, execute an indie project, you don't have a lot of resources, you don't have a lot of money, you kind of have to do the schedule based on what works for you and you have to come first because you're the driving force behind it. And you know, if there's no other good time for you to do it than the dates that you have in mind, you might as well do those dates. And if the people involved aren't available, then you have to find other people and just hopefully have them, you know, help them understand why you're making the decision you have to make. So I um, went through the holidays, you know, these, this past uh, Christmas and New Year's, just kind of seeing how the weather looked, how the scenery looked, because, you know, one might say, well, you know, if it's important for you to have your kids be home from school and your wife be home from work so she can watch them, so you're not having to watch them, you can focus on them, why not just do it during the summer? Well, I can't do it during the summer because the script um, and the story, the setting of this film demands to be shot in the winter. It's the look and feel that I want to have. We're kind of seeing a little bit right now. I want dreary weather. I want a lot of trees that don't have leaves on them. Well, you're not really seeing much right of that right now. I'm driving through a bunch of evergreens. But that's the look and feel I want. I don't want it to be warm and sunny feeling because it's supposed to be a, kind of a dreary post um a dreary apocalyptic drama uh, thriller, although I don't intend for it to be as dreary as something like um, the film The Road, based on Cormac McCarthy's novel. So I was kind of scoping it out this past um, December and early January. What would it be like to shoot right now? How is the climate at home with my wife and kids? And naturally, you know, as I feared, there were times where it was kind of challenging because, you know, she doesn't get a, much of a break if the kids are running around and going crazy. But I talked to her and I said, hey, look, I'm ready to do this film. I want to execute on it. You know, she knows I've been trying to do it for a number of years now. 
and I said, it's looking like it's got to be winter break next school year, which is December 2023 to January 2024, um, specifically the week um, between Christmas and New Year's and the week after New Year's, whatever those specific dates are. I don't have a written memory. So that's what I'm planning on doing. And I've already booked the time off work. I've gotten my supervisor's blessing. And um, now it actually feels pretty good to know, okay, now I've set a deadline for myself. Because before I was kind of figuring out, like, I just had no idea how I was going to pick any production dates. Um, based on my childcare situation, I was thinking about what would work for other people, things like that. Um, but I got it figured out, and it's good to feel like, okay, now I have a mountain to climb. I have a deadline, and I got a call coming in. So thankfully, I was about to wrap this up. Until next time, good luck with your projects.